Um, welcome everyone. As we welcome in Baruch Ian, who's been waiting very patiently, Dr. Guy, Irving Fishbaum, Shimon Klein, Dr. Black, Dr. Yudel, Menachem Yemansky, Aaron Swade, Eddie Chazan, Shalom Fogel, Nachman Chapler, Shelly Zeitlin, Michael, Mel Zachter, Shimon Deer, Moshe Lehman, uh, and Sian Cohn, Ilya Schutman, Naftali Javelin, Yitzi Muller, Yitzi Fuchs, Rabbi Kranz, Abe Arbach, Jay Siegel, and David Helfgott. Here in Shul, we have Baruch Hashem back at his post, Verish Gessim. Uh, it's nice to have you back, Verish. And uh, Nidalia Engel, Rich Lenner, uh, Avram Zepkowitz, and uh, Michal Avram. Uh, Rabbi Isa, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to tell the Oilam that one of our Chavar Adaf uh, is in the hospital. Uh, last night, uh, Ruven Shannet had what was called a silent heart attack. Uh, he, he, by by Shalashudis, he had his head down, he wasn't feeling well, and uh, Hatzala came at, to his house and they recommended him to go to the hospital. It seems to be he doesn't have enough oxygen going to his heart. They're keeping him for observation, and he might need a stent. So he asked me. I, I spoke to him. He sounded very chipper, uh, and he said, please ask everybody to daven for me. So if you want to write, I sent his name. Um, actually, I, I, put on the ch I put on the chat his phone number if you want to call to be Mavakar Chayla. His name is Ruvain Yitzchak Ben Devora. Ruvain Yitzchak Ben Devora, as Rep Kramer is back, Baruch Hashem, he's been playing hooky. Uh, Ruvain Yitzchak Ben Devora, uh, he should have a Rafu Shalema Besach Shachel Yisrael. I also put on the chat uh, uh, the, the phone number for Yitzi Pada, where I went to visit him in Staten Island today. As you know, he's sitting Shiva for his young wife of 43 years old. He's sitting Shiva, and uh, uh, he, he actually told me that Yitzi called him, and he was appreciative. And he said to me, I asked him, you know, because he's he, a lot of people coming. It's a, you know, very, very sad house with the, his parents sitting with him for their daughter. Uh, it's, you know, and a bunch of children there. Uh, but he said that the best way is to send him messages by WhatsApp. He would appreciate that. So I sent his phone number, and you could WhatsApp him a text, and he would really appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see what else uh, was dedicated by A.B. Spry, that he should have nachas from his family, and by Michal Avram. For everybody's gesund, Michal is going in tomorrow for the second eye for cataract surgery. Michal Avram Ben Herschel, right? Now give me your mother's name, Michal Avram yes. Ben Iris. Should have a refuah shalem back at your perch quickly. Besides Shachar the Yisrael. Um, okay, uh, two more blot left in. Uh, as we count a different type of Svira, I count Svira to finish Ezel uh, Neshech. And uh, we are doing just that. Uh, I actually appreciated, Abe Abach, that you sent me a message that you enjoyed learning the two blot and that you found them, you know, that it, w it was two difficult blot. So you are spot on about that. Last night was two difficult blot. And uh, everybody should be uh, very praised staying with me till about Chatzais Lila last night. Um, yeah, you made it very easy, Rabbi. Thank you. Uh, okay. I mean, you're, you're very kind. Um, so now we are holding by Amar Rav Chama, which is... 11 lines from the bottom, 11 lines from the bottom of Daf Ayin Gimel Amad Beis. Amar Rav Kama. Hi, man, the Yov Zuzay Lechavre. What happened was, is I made a mistake, but uh, I trusted Eddie. I gave him money to buy me wine. The Mizvah Lechavre. And, you know, I asked him to buy me wine when wine was cheap. Uposha Veloy Zavanle. Uh, and he was negligent, 
and he didn't buy it for me at the time when wine was cheap. I asked him to buy me four, five barrels of wine. At that time, you could get five barrels of wine for $150. But uh, he was negligent because, you know, he says, I was in Alabama and Atlanta and Memphis and, uh, you know, you know, you know, all his uh, baloney, you know. So, uh, so, uh, and, uh, so, Pasha Valay Zavanlay. So the Gemara says he has to go out now and buy me five barrels. Mishalem Lake the He has to buy me the amount of barrels that he could have got with that money at the port of Zol Shafet when it was very cheap. So I gave him I gave him $150. He could he could have bought me five barrels. So he has to buy me five barrels now, although, although he's going to have to pay through the nose, and it's going to cost him $500. Amemer says, not so fast. You know, Eddie does have friends in high places. So Amar Amemer, so Amemer says, Amrisa L'shmait say Kamei to Rev Zvid from Nardov. I told this over to Rev Zvid from Nardov. That's only if he said, buy me wine. If he told me, buy me this wine, you know, buy me, he likes a certain type of uh, uh, c- uh, Cabernet with laced with some lemon. Like, then I, even though he was negligent, I can't hold him accountable because me, Amar, the Mizavnale Nihali, who says they would have sold it to him? Ravashi and Ravashi says, forget if I ask for a specific cabinet. I feel a yayin stam namilai. Even if I told them to buy me regular wine. You know, I said, buy me wine, you know, and if not, you're going to be responsible for it. If not, you're going to be responsible for it. My time asmachdei, because he never thought that he wouldn't buy me the wine. He didn't know that he was going to have to get out of you know. He's going to have to get out of you know town because they're going to be you know the uh, the, the, the loan sharks are going to be after him. He, he didn't he didn't know about that. And vasmachta leikanya. And 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 where he he didn't really uh, think that this would happen. It's not binding, says the Gemara. I don't understand. Why is it different from what we learned in the Mishnah? That if I give Eddie the job to plow my land, and I make with him up with him, knowing Eddie. Im over v'loy evid. If you leave my land fallow, and you don't work it, then you have to pay me from the meitav. You have to pay me from the best. Ashalim b'meitva. Right? If Eddie accepts upon himself that if I leave your land fallow, and I don't work it, I'll pay from the best. And the din is he has to pay. Why don't you say that's an asmachta? Says the Gemara, no, Hasam biyadai. There, it's totally up within his power, whether he could do it or not. But Hacha la biyadai. Who says people will sell him wine? You never know. Shemaloyim karula. They might not sell him the wine at the cheap price. There might be many buyers ahead of him. So therefore, that's an asbachta. Now, this is a very interesting piece of Gemara. Um, Rich, Rich, could I? Could I ask you to bring me two more cups of cold water? I'm very thirsty. Spill this out. Let me two more. Thank you. Uh, top line of Daf Ayin Dalad Amad Aleph. Amar Rava, Hani Beitlose de Yove Zuze Lechad. What happens is, Doctor Black, Elliot, and Menachem. Give Shelley money to buy to buy for them something. Something they trust Shelley. Shelley knows how to get a good deal, so the three of them give him money to buy something. And 
what it seems to be what happened is, is he wrote down what each one gave them and he put all the money together. And Shelley bought, having in mind that it should be for Dr. Block. Uh, but he never articulated it. So it's only Dvarm Shebelev. So the Gemara Paskin Zavan Lekulu, if let's say he brought, bought a Metzia, let's say he bought uh, a Nolan Ryan rookie card, and the Nolan Ryan rookie card just happened to go up in value, actually a second year Nolan Ryan is even, I think, more valuable. Second year Nolan Ryan rookie, I have to ask Rich, but the second year... Huh? What sport? What sport? Give me a break. Uh, what year? Uh, sport. Um, thank you. Anyway, so Shelley knows, and he bought a second year Nolan Ryan Mint card. So the Gemara says if he didn't articulate that it was only for Dr. Block. So all three of them, Dr. Block, Elliot, and Menachem, have shares in that card in, pr- in proportion to the amount of money that they gave Shelley. But the lay Amranella, the lay Tsar, the Chasim, Inish, Inish, Lechudei. That's only if Shelley didn't wrap and seal the money separately. Avot Tsar, the Chasim, Inish, Inish, Lechudei. If he sealed the monies for each one separately and he took Dr. Block's bundle, so then Lamanda Zavin Zavin, the one he bought it for, it's bought for Lamanda Loy Zavin Loy Zavin. So then it's Dr. Block's second year uh, Nolan Ryan card. Take it, make sure to put it in a plastic case, Dr. Block, because it is worth money. Now, um, Amra Papi Mishmei de Rava. Rapapi says in the name of Rava, just getting on the way over here. Hai si tumsa kanya. Uh, if you have, let's say, I have a, a crest. Uh, it, my crest says the house of MMW. It's a seal that says the house of MMW. And I go down, Nachman has, sells wine in his cellar. And the way it works is, Menachem has a lot of storage. So I buy wine, and I put my seal on it. So says the Gemara, that, Hi, si Tumsa. If I put my seal, the house of, RM, of MMW, Kanya, I acquire the wine. Says the Gemara, Lamai Hilchisa. In what way? Do we say that I acquire it? Rav Chaviva Amal Lemikne Mamish. I acquire it entirely. The Chachamim made it as if I was Magvia, as if I picked it up. Rabbanan and Ray, the Rabbanan say that even if I didn't pay for it yet, Likbule Alei Mishapur, that if Nachman tries to renege and keep it from me, he's over Mishapur. But in a place where the minigit, the hilkas or the kbuli ale mishapara, the halach is that if Nachman tries to renege, he's, uh, he's confronted with the curse of mishapara, but Dara Mabel will pay somebody who doesn't honor this. And in a place where the minig is that if I have my crest on it, I acquire it, mamish, then kono. Ho yehu tchila le we learned in the Mishnah that if let's say Ruvain buys uh, from makes a forward contract with Shelley uh, and the, the rate is not out yet but Shelley has already the grain, so Ruven could contract to get the grain from him in six months, even though in six months from now that grain might be worth more. But we say that since Shelley already has grain, so therefore it's considered like Ruven already has the grain by Shelley, and when it goes up, it goes up in his 
property, and therefore it's not considered like Shelley is giving him interest for waiting. However, even if Shelley has the grain in a raw state, Amarav Mechusser Shtayim, if it's lacking two processes, Paisik, he could make up with him. It's to consider it like he has it, even though it's so raw that it's lacking two processes. But Shalosh, if it's lacking three processes, then ain't a Paisik. Then he can't make up with Shelly. Shmuel Shmuel says, Bidei Adam, if the processes are something that Shelly could do, then I feel a Paisik. Even if it's lacking a hundred steps, he could still make up with him. Bidei Shemayim, but if it's lacking something that's not within Shelly's control, then Afilu Achas ain't a Paisik. Then he can't make up with him even if it's one step. So Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah, Paisik Imoy ala Godish, that Ruven could make a forward contract with Shelly if he has standing grain. Says the Gemara, but I don't understand. Vamchuser Mishta Bechama. He has to put it out in the sun, lemiyavish, to dry. So that's one process. Ulamei she has to thresh it. That's a second process. And then, and the third process, is, the, 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 the third process is umidra. And he has to winnow it. So it's three processes. According to Rav, it's, you're only allowed if it's two processes. Says the Gemara, Kigain the Shoda Becham of Yavish. It was already put out to the sun to dry. Ule Shmuel Amabide Shamayim Afilo Acha Sena Paisik, that if it's something that's done by heaven, you cannot do it even with one step, but winnowing needs the wind, so it depends on wind. Vahamachusim Midra, winnowing, which needs the wind, which is Bide Shamayim. Says the Gemara, it's talking about where you could do it with a sifter, with a sieve. Says the Gemara, so it's not, it's not missing that stage. Afshe uh, fosa, it's possible with a strainer. Okay, let's go to the next thing in the Mishnah. <coughs> Excuse me. A vat of grapes. So again, Rav only allows two steps. Michmar means that you have to take the wine and put it into the vat. So that's 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 the first step, right? You have to you have to put it. Excuse me. First, Michmar means that it has to become ripe in the vat. So that's the first thing. The first thing is that has to become ripe in the bat, vat, and then then you have to put it into the press, so that's number two. Then then you have to tread upon the grapes, and then and you have to draw it into the cistern. So that's four steps. Says the Gemara, it's talking about when the they're ripe. It's talking about where the grapes are already ripened. Says Gemara, but it's still three steps. Says Gemara, it's the one who buys it that draws it into the cistern. So therefore it's only two steps, and that is to put it in the press and to crush it. And on the vat of olives, so again asks the Gemara, it's missing the ripening. And to put it between the boards, to crush it, and to draw it into the cistern. So again, the Gemara says, it's uh, ripened olives already. I ho ikatla, so the Gemara answers again, but answer the who deserves the one who buys it, how man get he draws it into the system. Valabeim shall yitzer and 
uh, Ruven could make a forward contract for clumps of earth to be used for pottery, says the Gemara. But over here also there's a lot of steps, as Ruven surely knows. Amaiva mochusel lefufe, you have to shape the clay. Viyuvushe, you have to dry it. Iyule lasuni, you have to put it in the kiln. Lemisref, to, to burn it. Or lemepak, and you have to take it out. Says the Gemara, kigain de malafafa viyevoshu. It's talking about where uh, it was already shaped and dried. Vaikatlas is putting it in the kiln, burning it, and then taking it out. So the Gemara says, Ba'asra da who's of and the one who buys it, who the mapakis takes it out. Valasid Mishigishkeenu Bekifshin. And lime, when you put it in the furnace, says the Gemara Ba'iva Hamakhusar Mikla, you have to burn it. Ba'puke and take it out. Omedik and put cold water on it, which turns it into powder. Says the Gemara Ba'asra, the who does the oven, it's talking about a place that the one who buys it, Ha'hu Daik, he's the one that crushes it. Says the Gemara, the Shmuel, the Amr Bidei, Adam Afilu Meya Pasuk, according to the Shmuel, that says if it's uh, by human hands, it could even be a hundred steps, then Lama Li Mishiyishke and Bekifshin, why does it have to be that Ruven could only buy it if Shelley has stuff that was already put into the furnace? Says the Gemara, no, it does, Taka doesn't have to be, according to Shmuel, put in the furnace. If it's ready to be put in the furnace, that's enough to be able to contract a forward contract. I gotta slow down, because if I go any faster, then people are going to want to know why their husbands are home early. Uh, don't worry, Rich, you can walk around the block a little bit. Uh, after I do the Mishni Yimus, I have an unusual favor to ask. We're having an invalid come to the house tomorrow. Uh, my, my wife has a mechutenis that, that's coming in to, from London uh, to, uh, to celebrate the engagement of her son. And she's um, wheelchair bound. So we're going to be housing her for two days downstairs because we're wheelchair accessible. And she's going to come use the chair and stay here. But if you know in the vestibule of the room over here, my wife has a like small little couch and the wheelchair won't get there. So we have to try to navigate the couch through this door. So if we could, after the share, if we could try to do it, my wife is worrying about it. I can't do it by myself. But um, Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, oh, I, I didn't tell the Eilam. Once I was already in Staten Island for two Nichem of Eilams, I went to visit uh, Barry. And Barry came home today. After being in the nursing home, he came home today. I spent an hour with him. And uh, he's really looking good. And he looks forward to hopefully rejoining us. And it would, it would be an idea for people to give him a call and to encourage him. He, he needs a little encouragement because his sleep is very unsettled. So he, he needs a little encouragement to push himself to come on. But, uh, you know, I told him that, uh, you know, that the island really misses him. So, Valabeim shal yoytzer. We said on these clumps of, of clay, Tan Rabbanan, Ein poiskin ala beim shal yoytzer, you cannot, Reuven cannot make a contract to get 
from Shelly these balls of clay, these clumps of clay, until they're fashioned. They, 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 they have to be fashioned. Uh, that's the Pini Rameir. When do we say that? Where it's white clay. White, white clay is uh, not available from, to buy. So therefore, Shelly, Shelly has to have it available. But the black clay, like in the districts of Kfar Chananya and its suburbs, or Kfar Shichon or Kfar Shichon and its suburbs, Poiskim, even if he doesn't have those bulls uh, already prepared, because if even Shelly doesn't have it, since uh, Reuven gave him money, he could get it from someone else. Oh, Amemer Yov Zuzi, Amemer would give the money to Shelly, Michima Ayale Afra, when they have the earth even before the clumps are made. So the Gemara says, Well, who is this going like? Come on. Ikara Mayor, he says it's not enough for them to have the clay, you have to make the balls. And Ika Rabbi Yaisi, and if it's going like Rabbi Yaisi, Rabbi Yaisi says that you don't even need to have it. Says It's going according to Rabbi Yaisi. However, Afra, the this black earth was not very benimsa. It was not very. Uh, available. It was scarce. So, Afra, in the event that Shelley already has the earth, some chadaite. The, it was Seymach Das, and he relied on the purchase. V'yav Luzuze, and therefore he gave it to him. V'yavlu, if not, lay some chadaite, he didn't rely on it, and therefore he didn't give him the money. And now we're going to go to dung. Now the d- business with the dung is that some hold that you could always purchase dung uh, because the animals are constantly producing the manure. So it's always available to shell. Uh, Rabbi Yaisi disagrees. Rabbi Yaisi says that unless Shelley has an ashpa, you can't buy it because it's not available because everybody needs their own dung and it's not so available. While the Chachamim say that it's allowed. So ask the Gemara, Chachamim Hainu Tanakama. The Chachamim say the same thing as the Tanakama. Amar ah, as we turn another page, in Ezel Neshech, let's make a party. I'm a rabbi, you might say Geshamim Ikebinai. The difference between the first Kachamim hold, that dung is always available, because the animals are always producing dung. The, the, the uh, Kachamim Basroi, they disagree. The, they, they disagree. They say during the winter, the, the, the dung was left out to be stepped upon and to be converted into fertilizer. So in the winter, it wasn't readily available. And therefore, they hold that it's only permitted if he has an ashpa. But in the summer, it's already trampled upon and it's available and then he doesn't need to have an ashpa. Now, the Mishnah ends off that if Ruvain makes a forward contract with, excuse me, if Ruvain makes a forward contract with Shelley, he should stipulate that, listen, Shelley, if the price goes down, you know, we're always worried about what happens if the price goes up. 
but if he stipulates if the price goes down, I want it like the price now. Oh, Gavra, here's a man. Listen to this case. Who oh, Gavra? This is Eddie. How gavra de Yov Zuze Linadunya de Bechamua. Eddie's father in law gave him money to buy jewelry. So he gave him uh, $5,000 to buy the ring, a necklace, and a bracelet. Lesayv Zol Nedunya. At the end, that, that ring and bracelet and uh, that ring and bracelet and, uh, and, 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 and necklace is worth only $2,500. So also the Kamid Rappapa. It came before Rappapa. Amalei Iposki Imai Kishar If you made up that you're going to get Taka the best price, so then Shakal Kahashta. So then you only have to pay $2,500. But Vi'iloi, but if not, Shkilki Meikar, you got to pay the five grand. Says the Gemara, but I don't understand. Amalei Rabbanan Rapapa v'iloi posik shakul kamei kara. If he didn't stipulate, he has to give the five grand. Mois nino. All he gave was money. And money is not kaina. He never did mashicha on the, or hagva on the necklace, on the, on the bracelet, and on the ring. So he could back out because there was never a kinyan made. So he says, you're right. It's not a question of, 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 of uh, kinyan, but if he backs out, he's going to be over Mishapara because Mishapara is not only on the seller, it's on the buyer too. So once you give money, you got to accept it. And if you try to renege, so then you're over Mishapara. I'm a low, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, nami le kabuli ale Mishapara ka amina. E pasa kishagva, if he made up that he's going to get the best price, then moichu kahadabe, if the seller is going to back out, mekabal ala moichu Mishapara, then the seller gets Mishapara. E loi pasak, if he doesn't, uh, if he didn't stipulate for the best price, and therefore he has to pay him the five grand, uh, like they made up in the beginning, then then if the buyer wants to back out, then then the lekech is going to get the penalty of mishapara midara mabel or midara flogger will uh, go against somebody who goes against his word. Says the Gemara, so you're assuming that this is going according to the Rabbonon, who hold that Mois is not kind, as we welcome in Richard Rosenberg, Melvin Weintraub, Sandy Grunfeld, Jay Siegel, Thomas O'Berry, uh, and I, I don't think I welcome in Rabbi Kranz, uh, Mo Kushner. Great to have everybody. By the way, Rabbi Sai, the big simcha tomorrow. Tomorrow, we finish Ezel Neshech. It's really, really unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hazov and Ezel Neshech. I, I, I would say that's definitely, definitely from the top ten hardest prokem in Shas. Right. Yeah, I consider it harder than you Uh oh, Rabbi. Yes. Do we say uh and tomorrow on uh, Yom Hatikaron? Yes, we do. We do? Okay. Yeah. Um 
if you're asking me if my shul does and my sh- the aguda does, the answer is yes. Uh, uh, so now the Gemara says, "Amalei Ravino Papa." How do you know this is going according to Rabbanon that argue on Rab Shimon? The Imre Mois Leikano that holds that money doesn't acquire. So that when Eddie gave the money for a jewelry, it didn't acquire. And even so, if he made up to get the best price, Shakal Kidahashta, he takes the price now. Eloi Pasak Shakal Kidamek Karim. Dilma Reb Shimonhi, maybe it's going according to Reb Shimon, the Amar Mois Kainais, who says that money alone, that says that money alone acquires. The Chi Pasak Keshara Gavaya, and therefore if he made up for the best price, Shakal Kashta, he takes like now, Eloi Pasak Shakal Kamek Karim. Why? Because the money cemented the deal. But according to the Rabbanan, whether he made up, whether he didn't make up, he gets the best price because that's the way people think. They, they have in mind for the best deal. Because people have a mind to get the best rate. Says the Gemara, no. Amale, even so, Ema da Amar Reb Shimon. Reb Shimon says, Monica, Mois Kainais, Bechad Tira, where there's one price. Betarte Tare, me, Amar. Did he say that when it, the, the, the goods could go down in price? Uh, if the goods could go down in price, it's not necessarily so that it's binding upon the lekeach. Right? It's only that he's subjected to mishapara. De'ilai te'mahachi, because if we don't say that mishapara b'lekeach l'Rab Shimon Leslie, then Rab Shimon would never have a case of mishapara by a buyer. And b'chi te'mahachanami, maybe you'll say, yeah, according to Rab Shimon, there isn't any mishapara by a buyer, because the money is kaina. But Tanya, Mikol Mokam Kach Halacha, Reb Shimon said, that is the halacha, Aval Amru Chacham and Mishapara. But the Chacham said Mishapara. My Mikol Mokam, Lav the Leishna Lekeach, the Leishna Meicher, that both the buyer and the seller could be over Mikabal of Mishapara. El Kikam Reb Shimon, where does Reb Shimon say? That the money is binding, that's Bechatara, where there is one set price. Betray Tare Loyama. Says the Yuma, but there's a different reason why Eddie's deal should be able to be voided. Because remember, Eddie was an agent for his father in law to buy. And since he's an agent, the father could say, father in law could say, I only gave you permission to do things properly, not to hurt me. He made him initially a shliach, and since he made him initially a shliach, so if the, if, if the rate plummets, so the father-in-law could say, look, I didn't give you a shliach, to buy stuff that's now worth $2,500 for $5,000. Amale, so the Gemara answers, Kitagra de Zovinu Mazabin. Eddie gave over the money willingly because, I mean, Eddie's father gave it to him willingly because Eddie was a well known, as we know. What do you think Eddie is going from Alabama to Memphis to, to, to Tennessee to Atlanta to. Who knows where else that he doesn't tell us. Where are you now, Eddie? No, I don't think so. It's a different room. He can't even change his controls. He's he's being protected by scramblers.
I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I told you. He, he, he can't stay in one place for 24 hours. I mean, they're, they're after him. He's, he always has to stay one day ahead. Uh, it, Why Marshall Bourbon? It's, it, it, I, could, I could tell that the background looked like Kentucky. Uh, the, uh, but anyway. Ah, okay, okay. So, so, uh, so anyway, so, 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 therefore, he entrusted it to Eddie, and therefore he cannot say that I sent you only to do good and not to do bad, and therefore what Eddie did was binding. Okay, we're going to stop over here now.